question five. Uh. So even uh, for question four will be um, straightforward. So you may refer to the technique that uh, how I used to prove another identity during our first lecture. Uh. Okay. So I will just look at uh, three and five, just for look at it. All right, so uh, okay, uh, wait, uh, what do we do? Wait. Sorry, let me start recording firstly. Oh, I have recorded already. Okay, so I have recorded up to ready. Okay, so uh, let's start our questions. Okay, so maybe uh, before we start the questions, so just go back, look at the the tab, uh, what do you call it, the procedure to construct uh, this uh, limit increment and limit supplement once again, sir. Okay, so this is the notes, right? Okay, supposing we have a, a sequence of set A1, A2, uh, A3, A4, and so on in general, AK, and so on. Okay, okay so first of all, uh, step number one, so we just compute our BN. Okay, so BN, which is just equals to Sorry, I forgot buttons with symbol. So B and is B. Mm, okay, so uh, B and is the union. All right, so B and is the unions. Of all the uh, k running from n to infinity. Okay, so if we're using this formula, then we can see uh, we can calculate. So uh, b1 will be a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, and so on. And we can also get b2 will be a2. Combine with A3, then combine with A4, A5, and so on. And then we also can have B3 will be A3, combine with A4, A5, and so on. Okay. Okay, once we have obtained this all the BN, so next we can use this to define our limit supremum. So limit. Supremum of AK will be just intersections of all the BN running from one to infinity. So if we combining uh, these two symbol, so we can see that we can also say that limit supremum in a more complete informations, limit supremum of AK K to infinity will be. The intersection of all the n from one to three, and then union of okay, that's the way. Okay, so however, I think this will be a much better but way to get it. So a complete way to describe will be this one. Okay. So similarly, we can use this to define what we so call the limit increment. So to define the limit increment, so we do it similarly. So what we can do is we can construct 
a smaller, I want to call it a decreasing sequence of sets CN. Then using this, so we can define our limit increment of AK to be the union of all the CN. So that's the way. So again, likewise, we can have a, a complete definition. So that will be union of n from 1 to infinity, intersection of all the k running from n to infinity for a k. So let's compare with uh, this b. So in this case, your c1 will be a1 intersect a2, a3, a4, n, a5, n, so on. So this will begin with a2, a3, a4, and so on. And then we take all the intersections and so on. Okay, so uh, then these are the definitions for uh, limit increment. Okay, and number three. So we can use a limit imprimum and limit supremum to define what is meant by a limit of the se uh, sequence. So we said uh, when limit imprimum of AK is equal to limit of supremum of AK. So then we said that. Uh, let's say this is equals to something so called a. Then we said that the limit of a k will be equals to a. If these two are not the same, we will say limit does not exist. So that's the way uh, how we define the convergence of a sequence of sets or the limit of a sequence of sets. So uh, we also have a two extreme case uh, for this definition. So two extreme case. So case number one, and supposing we have um, increasing sequence, let's say, let's say A1, A2, A3. So in this case, we said that our AK is an increasing sequence. So when we have an increasing sequence, so limits always exit. So in this case, so we can directly compute limits of AK always exit. So that is equals to the largest of them. We just need to uh, combine all of them. So in this case, the limit always exits. So likewise, we have uh, another extreme case that is we have a decreasing sequence. So if our A1 is a superset of A2, A2 is a superset of A3 and superset of A4 and so on. So in this case, we just simply say that AK is a decreasing sequence. So it was getting smaller and smaller. So again, in this case, so limit for AK will be just equals to the union of all of them. So again, in this case, the limit always exits.
Okay. Okay, so uh, we can use uh, all this uh, concept to solve our question three. Okay, so let's look at the first case. Uh, I think this is straightforward. So AK is equals to uh, this interval, uh, open close interval one over K to two. Uh. So I think you can easily see that. Um, so uh, in this case, so you can see uh, A1 is one, two. So and then A2 so is half to two. And A3 will be 1, 3, 2. Okay, so uh, I think it's clearly you can see the relationship among all these. So this one will be smaller than this. This will subset to this. This will be subset to this. So at the end, so you can see this thing will converge to the union of all of them. Okay, so then you just need to compute uh, the union of all of this as well. So uh, this is can be solved easily. So you can see this. So uh, as usual, so let's say, uh, let's look at this as a zero. Okay, up to. Uh, half. Okay, let's say one is here. And two is here. Okay, so this is two. This is one, right? Okay, first will be from. Then we can see uh, the first one will be from two up to here. So this is a case n equals to one and two to half. So that will be here. So n is equal to two and one third. So Zero points, I think somewhere here. Okay, so as you can see, this will get getting closer and closer to uh, zero, okay, but never touch zero. Okay, so in this case, then you can see uh, the union of all of them using uh, this idea. So the union of this will be equals to zero to two. Okay. So then uh, from here, we can straight away see that. So then we can solve our questions. So since so air care is increasing. So we can see a limit for air care must be to the union of all the AK, so so which is just equal to zero to two. Huh? For what? Isn't sorry, but uh, isn't AK decreasing? I think it's increasing, right? You look at the line; it's getting longer and longer here. So this is A one. Oh, okay. This is A two, right? So it's getting longer and longer the line, right? Okay. Uh -huh. So that, that is what we so call increasing. So because you can see uh, this is n equals to 3. Okay. n equals to 4 will be up to 0, 2, 5, I think somewhere here. I think I don't want to point this diagram. So I think you can easily see it must be increasing, right? Uh, so that's why the limit will be the union of all of it. Mm. Okay, by our idea above just now. Huh? So this is Okay, so for B, okay, so B is uh, okay. So we say uh, odd number uh, A one equals to A three equals to A five and so on. So all the odd number A is a fixed interval zero to one, and after that all the even. Number A, so it's equals to zero zero point five, uh, half two, two. Mm. 
Okay. So I think uh, because this is a repeated one, right? So from here, then you you, you can see this. Mm. So maybe what, what we can do is, so we can just simply say, uh, let's say this is X. So this is Y, right? Uh, so if we use this idea, then you can directly see um, all the PN will be equals to X union Y. So uh, I, I maybe I just look at one of the examples. So let's say you look at B4, okay? Or maybe a B3. So let's say look at B3. So B3 by the definition will be A3, A4, A5. Okay, I think the remaining not, not important anymore. So, and we know uh, this is always X x right and this is oh okay maybe one more so this is a a6 and so on and all this always equals to y so x y x y so then you can see that's why this is how that must be x and y right uh, next we look at what is our cn so likewise we can compute our cn You can direct C. C N must be X and intersection with Y. So again, you can check, for example, what is C4? So C4 will be uh, A4 intersect with A5 and A6 and A7 and so on. So again, um, all the even terms, so this is Y, this is Y. So and this is uh, X, X and so on. So that's why it's always a repeated set x y x y so that's why it must be x and y okay so even so this is the way we can see it okay uh, now i think it's clear so you look at this is x this is y so this one intersect with this oh sorry uh x union y so you just need to combine these two sets so you can easily see that so this will be equals to zero to two Similarly, for CN, if you take the intersections, so this 0 to 1 and then half to 2, so that means this will be half to 1. So this is true for all N. So we have this two. Okay, now done. So you can see easily. So limit supremum of AK will be the union or the BN. So since this all identical, so that means the remaining must be the same. And we look at limit in framework for AK will be we intersect all the CN. So they are all identical. So this. So you can see these two are not the same, right? So that means in this case, so uh limit. AK does not exit in this case. Right? So because of these two not the same. Hi, uh, sorry, Doctor, just to find out for the limit implement for AK, right? Uh the one over two, does it need to be a closed bracket or open bracket? Huh? No, it, it, it based on the question here. So because uh, here is open, right? So when you take the intersection, so that means must be the open bracket. Okay, but you just take the intersections. So this one intersect with this, so it must give you an open bracket. But X can receive 0 0.5, right? X? X is 0 to... Yeah, but, but this one excluding 0 0.5, right? Because of X and Y. X and Y, so that means this is open. Oh, okay, okay, yep. Right? Uh, uh, so that means uh, if you take the intersection, so half will, will not be built in the element set. Okay. Uh, 
So uh, this is us. So maybe you might need to uh, 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 look at it slowly. Okay. So I think this is quite strict, quite easy. So you can see uh, by looking at the picture. So what is our X and Y? What is our X? What is our X and Y? Zero to one up to two. Zero to one up to two. So I think it's clear. So you can see the x and y will be zero to one, excluding zero. Okay, and including, and the other one is half to two, right? So half to two. So when you take the intersection, must be always here on it. Union will be all of them. Right? I think it's a, you, you may verify it on yourself easily, this thing. Uh, wait, sorry, sorry. So that means the top line, can it accept 0 0.5? It doesn't matter. You can accept 0 0.5, but when you take the intersection, you have to exclude it. You, you get a point? Right, you just think about it. Let's say A is uh, one, two, three, four, and B is, uh, uh, let's say, uh, four, five, six, seven. Okay, or maybe uh, they put it. Okay, so three, four, five, six. So that means when you take the intersection, you just have to take whatever belongs to both. Okay. Uh, so that, that is a set theory things. So, well, uh, you guys, but if you are not familiar with this, then you might need to go back and do some revision on the uh, elementary kind of uh, uh, mathematics. I mean, this is in your calculus things, right? Oh, sorry to say that. So you have to do some kind of the revision on the set and the calculus things, okay? I'm sorry, doctor. Sorry? Uh, can you go back to question uh, 3a? All right. Yeah. Uh, what if the limit uh, in Freeman for the... I want to find the CN. You want to find CN? Yeah. Because my CN, my Supremum and the Inframum is different. So I don't know where I'm wrong. Because... <laughs> if, if okay. Wrong, never mind, never mind. Okay. No problem. Uh, CN. Uh, what is CN? I sorry, I can't remember my symbol. CN is what? Limit in okay, CN is the intersections, right? Yeah. CN. Okay, so uh, where should I put it? Mm. Okay, maybe I come back to this slide. Uh, okay, maybe uh, let's let's look at it once again. Uh, three A. So this is the one. Uh, to look at it, CN. Uh, so to answer your. Your, your, at least to demonstrate the idea for you. So this is something uh, extra. Okay, so uh, question 3a again. Okay, so yeah, ak is half of k over 2. Uh, okay, as I say, so you may see, right? So ak is an increasing sequence, right? This is uh, no problems, okay? So if this is an increasing sequence, increasing sequence means that um, A1 subset to A2 subset to A3 subset to A4 subset to A5 and so on, right? So you can see directly um, if you're taking B1, so since this one belongs to here, Okay, doesn't matter. You, you can just check it out. Huh? So since A1 belongs to A2, right? So B1, you're taking union. So it won't affect the result. If you want to calculate, so it must be equals to the union of all the AK, right? Because this one belongs to here. So if you're taking union, it won't affect the result. B2 is equals to 
A2 union A3 union A4. So again, this fella belongs to A3. So if you are taking union, it won't affect the result. Okay, so that's why this thing will be same. So from here, you can see all the BN are the same. Uh, okay, maybe I, I not, not really the same. Mm, are they the same? Uh, okay, they are the same actually. So, okay. So this is also the same. So that's why in this case, uh, all the BN are exactly the same as this. Okay. Uh, so here in this case, then you can see uh, BN are all the same. So uh, what is our answer? So actually it's zero to two. So this is true for all N. So that's why when you take limit of BN, so we always, we got this. Okay, uh, this is the first case. So for the second case, we just look at our CN. So C1 is A1 intercept, A2 intercept, A3 intercept, A4, right? Okay, now... Uh, uh, sorry, a doctor. Yeah. Yeah, for B1 and B2, right? B1... <coughs> sorry. B1, uh, the union... Oh, no, my name. Um... Okay, it doesn't matter, as I say. A1 is inside A2, right? So that's why it's already included. Okay, as I said, all these are elementary mathematics. So you guys go and check it out on yourself, verify on yourself. Uh, yeah, so you can just draw the diagram on it. So uh, same as this, okay, same as this thing. So this is the smallest one. Okay, uh, maybe just draw a simple picture for you. You can see, just, just imagine this, just look at the diagram. So. Okay, one, two, three. So if you take the intersections, how is it? So if you take the intersection, so then this must be this one, right? Okay, only this, only this portion. For uh, when taking intersections. Right, so then taking this section, so it must be only the first one. So that's why this is just the first one. So C2 is uh, A2 and uh, A3 and A4 and A5 and so on. So again, when you take the intersections, so you just need to look at the smallest one. So this is A2. So if you carry on this process, okay, uh, then you, you can see it. So actually what you need to do is you better draw the line and draw the diagram to do it. So you can see in general, AN must be equal to CN. So from here, you can see that uh, limit of CN will be actually uh, same as uh, the, 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 uh, the union. Okay, maybe we will say uh, the union of CN must be equal to the union of a n or a k now we can actually use the same symbol so that's why this is how we also get the same uh, result here okay uh at least to me uh, all this uh, should be okay so what you need to do is you uh, just write down explicitly the first first few terms Okay, and you calculate it. Uh, that, that's the way. Uh, then, then you can see the pattern. Okay. Oh, okay, doctor. I find my error. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, I think that, that's the way. So example, I think maybe that's the way. So if let's say A subset to B, so what is uh, I don't want to use any. <laughs> what symbol I should use? 
Okay, maybe uh, let's say new subset to V. So I think it's quite easy, right? New union with V must be V, right? And U intersect with V is what must be the small one. Okay, that, that's the idea. You're using this idea, then, then you can get the calculation for our part A. Okay, then I had to be a bit slow for this example, so it might be a little bit, this is more complicated, right? Okay, so let's say a uh, question 3C, right? So here say that A, all the odd number A. So they are all the same, which is uh, 0, 1. However, when we come to AK, huh, when K is even, so that means uh, A2 is equals to, okay, maybe I'll put here. Uh, A2 is, okay, never mind. So I'll just write down here. A2 is one over two, two. So this is actually the one same as the, the same set in part A, yeah? So A4 will be one over four to two. So A6 will be one over six to two, okay? So uh, all these are identical, right? So, but the even, uh, even terms are not the same, okay? Okay, again, so let's say make it easy. We can just simply say, uh, let's say uh, all this, this is equals to our X, okay? So uh, maybe do it slowly for you guys. So let's say B1, so A1, Okay, maybe uh, maybe before that, so just look at this uh, even number terms. So this is one over two, then this one over four and one over six. Okay, you guys imagine the line. So this is 0 0.5, right? You guys imagine the line on yourself, okay? So 0 0.5, two. So that means you can see if you draw the line for each of them, it's getting longer and longer, okay? So from here, then we can see that uh, it's getting longer and longer. So that's why A2 subset to A4 subset to this. Get a picture? Okay. That, that's the picture, right? So then you're using a similar idea as a put. Huh? So from here, then we can see if you are taking the, what do you call it? Uh, mm, if you are taking the union of all the AK, K is, um, I don't want to say how to say this. How should I say? Okay, maybe I, okay, you, 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 you may using the ideas over here. Okay, then you can see it. When you take union, that will be the largest one. If you take intersection, that will be the, the smallest one over here. So from here, then you can see. So B1 is, a1 and A2. Okay, so. So because of uh, all the odd terms will be X, so then this can be put it as X intersect A2, A6, A, uh, sorry, A4 first. Is, uh, yeah, I think, sorry, I'm wrong. This is to be C, right? B is the union. So A2, A4, A6, and so on. And again, this is increasing. So that's why when you take the intersection, we just need to get these two only, right? Because of uh, this is uh, belongs to here, right? So that's why C1 will be this one intersect with this. So you look at these two. So there is no overlapping, right? No intersection. So that's why this must be equal to empty set.
So similar, if you take C2, so you can see actually we just remove uh, x1 actually this is identical this all these are identical right so that's why with a1 or without a1 we still get the same result okay so that's why this is also x and a2 So again, we just need to look at is two. So the answer will be the same. So that will be empty set. So if you look at C3. Sorry, Prof, isn't half between zero and one? Sorry? Isn't half between zero and one? The lower bound of A2 is in X, right? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, I should have changed my spec already. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Okay, okay, yeah, right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, so this is a half to one. Yes, right, yes, right. Half to one. Huh? Okay, so uh yeah. Thank you. So uh you just need to take notes of this number. So this is a C2 half. Huh? Okay, yeah. Thanks. Okay, so uh, let's carry on. So uh, then C3, right? So uh, we begin with C3. So uh, that will be A3. Mm, okay, so uh, A3 and A4 and A5 and A6 and so on. So again, uh, all the odd number are identical, right? Equals to X. So now we just need to begin with A4. So that's why this one will end up to be X. Okay, so that is no A2, so intercept. A4, intercept A6, and so on. So again, A4 is the smallest among all these uh, so A, or, uh, even number A. So that's why we just need to look at this. So this one intercept, okay, I have to be a bit careful. So what is this? Okay, now because of this is an increasing one, right? So that's why this is equals to one over four to one. So again, so you can do the similar calculation. So C4 will be, so A4, A5, A6, A7. So again, all the odd number terms are identical with A3 or without A3 won't affect the result because A5 is here. Okay, so that's why you can see this is also the same result. So it will be X and A4 and A6 and so on. So we still same. So actually it's not difficult. You just need to compute it one by one and see the pattern okay uh not difficult but it might be a little bit troublesome so it's four and four so you follow this pattern okay if you uh still cannot convince yourself you can see the c5 and c6 and so on up to c10 so in general you can see this pattern it's always follow this pattern so that is c2n when this is four, you will get four, right? When this is two, you get two. So C two n, so that means it must be same amount one over two n over one. And this is also the same. So when you're taking n to infinity, then this will go to zero. So you can see hence limit or not uh, maybe i think intersection uh, intersections so you're taking uh and getting larger and larger so that will be zero to one so that will be your limit in frame of ak
Okay, get a picture. So actually, comes uh, from, do you mean um, union of CN? Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, so this one's supposed to be C. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Typo error, so it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, but the idea is there, right? Uh, get it? Hmm. So it also uh, it's not difficult. What you need to do is you just uh, you just verify the first few cases. Then you 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 should be able to see the pattern. Uh, so from the pattern, then you you can get the general formula. Uh, then you can solve it. You will get it. Uh, so that that's the way. So if up to four still cannot convince you, maybe you can carry on with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, okay, I know it's troublesome, but you can do that. Yeah, you just try and error, then you can see the pattern. Okay, so this is how we find C and the limit increment. Okay, let's go back to B. Then before that, we look at here. So you can, uh, A2 is an increasing kind of, uh, for the coordinate, the even term is an increasing sequence, right? Okay, so, and again, as I said, when you're taking union, we just take the largest one, okay? So from here, we have these conclusions. If you are taking union of all the A, K, uh, K is an even terms, okay? So that means you are taking all this. So that is one over K to two, okay? So that means this will be zero to so this is, a, I'm not taking the odd term, but just the even term. However, it will affect the result, okay? So from here, then we can see it. We can do the similar thing for to, to find our B. So for B1, we can do the similar calculations. So B1 will be A1, A2, A3, A4, so again, as I say, uh, all these are identical, okay? All these are the same. So that means this is actually just equals to X union of A2, A3, A4, okay? So how about, what is this term? So this term, we have already calculated up here. So it must be zero to two, okay? So then this whole things will be just equals to X. What is our X, by the way? Oh, zero to one, okay? So this is, X will be subset to here. So we get this is zero to two. Okay, so this is our B1. So you can compute B2. So that begin with uh, A2, A3, A4, A5, and so on. So again, it doesn't matter whether with or without A1, okay? So this will be the same, right? So again, X of A2, A3, A4. So that's why you will get the same result, zero to two. So you can carry on with the calculations, huh? so B3. So it must be X, but uh, four. Uh, B3 will be four. Six. Sorry, I think I have a mistake over here. Mm. Mistakes over here. It should be all the even terms. So uh, A4, A6. Huh? So again, uh, yes, you, you, you have all this. So 
Although we begin with four, but because of this is an increasing sequence, you will get the same result. So this is also the same result. So this one is because of uh, A2N is increasing. Okay, so this is an increasing sequence. So that's why it doesn't matter where you begin. So you always get the same result. So using this, you can check it out. So, okay, now I think you can go, let's say uh, you can see uh, V4, you can use the same way. So that will be X or A4 and A6 and so on. So V5 equals to V6 will be equals to six, eight, ten. Nevertheless, all will give you the same result, zero to two. So all these are the same, then you can see, hence, limit supremum of AK is the union of all the BN. So since they're all the same, so it must be zero to two. So you, Compare this to oh, zero to one or zero to zero one. Okay, so this is zero to zero one, zero two. I hope I'm not wrong. Huh? Okay, so this is zero to one and this is zero to two, right? Okay, not the same. So these two are not the same. So then you can see hands limit. A K does not exit. Okay. Mm, I I wouldn't say this is a difficult question. <laughs> Although it's quite troublesome. So yeah, I know it's you can see what you need to do is you just need to write down the first few terms to see the pattern. So it's not difficult. Yeah, it's a just elementary set theory. Okay, so you might need to draw a diagram or draw the line to see the resulting set. Okay, however, I can assure you it's not difficult. Okay, hmm. that, that's the way to to do it. So this is all question. Okay, so I think one more, last one, question five. So I want to prove these two identity. So it's very interesting. So it's like a, you can you can switch the symbol here. So limit for one AK is sort of like you can just bring it down here, okay? So you can just remember the pattern. So limit increment for one AK is equal to one. So the next one will be similar. Okay, so uh, so what you need to do is you just need to uh, recall this. Okay, maybe uh, this is the special case for it. Okay, maybe you can look at here. Okay, uh, the indicator function one a or a or b will be the supremum of one a one b. So if you go to more than uh, up to a, a sequence of a k, then you will get this. 
Uh, so this is a special case for it. Okay, you may just remember uh, this. Okay, so let's look at the answer. So, so maybe I just need to do one of it. The other, actually, you can do it using a similar result. Yeah. You just need to record this. Huh? Mm. In Freeman, maybe I will say uh, k from n to infinity. Oh, just record this as a formula. 1 a k is equals to 1 intersection of k from a k. This is an infrimum, your intersection. So when you change to so Freeman, k running from n to infinity for well, 1 a k will be 1 union of this. Okay, maybe I don't want to use the same symbol here. You can just put it, you can use some other symbol. Okay, maybe you can put this as a b k a. So this is 1 b k. And you can put this as a, let's say, CK. So it's a CK. Oh, okay, maybe you can switch to some other symbol that you like. All right. Okay, so we begin with the, uh, I, I just do part A. So we begin with the right hand side. Okay. So the solutions for part A. So we begin with right hand side. Maybe we do it first. Huh? Limit in frame of A K is actually equals to the union of N running from one to infinity C N and where your C N is equals to this. Okay, you, you can look at these two things right here, okay? Okay, maybe I don't want to use B and N here. Maybe use some other symbol instead of uh, C and N, C and B. So maybe I can take um, what symbol I can use. So maybe X. Okay, so X and X. Okay, maybe uh, X and Y here, I'm using Y here. Okay. So using this, then we can write is equal to one union of CN. Which formula? Okay, so this formula, right? So you can see we are using this formula. Okay. So then we can see this is equals to supremum of n greater or equals to one of Cn. Okay, using this formula. So this is a Cn equals to yn. Okay, like this. Okay, next we express this in here. So this thing can be written as okay, supremum no change, n greater is one, one intersection of k running from one to uh, k running from n to infinity to a k. Okay, now you compare to this formula here. Okay, now just look at this formula. Uh, so we are actually we, we have this pattern. Right, you have this. Okay, so that means we are just putting a k to be our uh, x k here. So then we get this is supremum of n greater from running from one to infinity, and after that will become infremum of k greater than n. So one of a k. 
Okay, so this one, we are using the first formula here, putting a k to be x k. And this is nothing. So this is just the definition for limit increment. So done. Okay, so uh, actually, we just apply this two formula uh, one by one into here, then you will get it. So uh, part B, will, you can do it similarly, okay? Maybe, but the only difference is we reverse the order. We first use this formula and then follow with this. Okay, so I leave it to you. Huh? So you guys go and follow the same idea to do it. Okay, so far so good. So uh, how about the question three? Any more questions? I hope all of you are okay. All of you are okay with uh, question three now. No, right? Okay, so I think uh, that's it for our tutorial. I thought that, uh... Yep. Okay, let me. Uh, do you have other answer for one, two, and four? Just for uh, marking for myself. Come again. Uh, answer for question answer... one, question two. Ah, uh, one, two, four. Uh, okay, number four, I I don't have the answer, but doesn't matter. I think number four, you can do it on your uh. You, you can do it using the table. Okay. Uh, you can do it using the table. So question four, you can do it in this way. Okay. What you need to do is you just need to construct a table. Okay. Mm, so question four, maybe just one of them. Uh, one. It's just that you just need a longer table. Okay. Maybe just, I just look at this. Okay. Uh, maybe this one is easier, right? These are easy. So premium of 1A, 1B. So this one, that means you take the largest. Okay? The bigger, the largest one. Right, so what you need to do, you just need to know uh, one of these uh, indicator function is a uh, on-off function. Okay? Well, I think it's a straightforward. So what you need to do is you just need, uh, I just keep, I discuss it over here. So for the other one, you try to do it on yourself, all right? So uh, this one, you just look at uh, four different cases. So omega in A or omega in B, okay? And after that, then you can see uh, omega in A or B. Uh, then from here, you can see uh, one A, one B, and then you take the largest one, supremum of them, and then one A or B. So you just need to construct a table like this. Okay. Mm, okay, so uh, here we have, uh, how to set it, four different cases, right? Either yes, 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 no, no, yes, no, no, right? Uh, So uh, this one must be yes, 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 no. Then clearly, right? Okay, now this is an on-off function. So yes corresponds to one, uh, no associated with zero. So that's why I had one, one, zero, zero, agree? I think you just compare to this, okay? So, and then this correspond to here will be one, zero, one, zero. Okay. So this one, yes, 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 no. So then yes, 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 no, right? So that will be one, 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 zero. Okay, here you just take the largest one. So one, one, the largest one will be one, one, uh, largest is one. Okay, you only want zero. 
Okay, so you can see these two are identical. That's the way. It's not difficult. Uh, uh, that's uh, the way. Uh. Uh. Okay, that is still another equality, right? So that is another one, 1A one plus 1B minus 1A one and B. Okay, so uh, it's not difficult, but it's just complicated. You need to take a bigger pay, uh, paper to draw this uh, table uh, to do it, right? And question one and two. Sorry, I don't have an answer. <laughs> I didn't try it. Oh, oh it's okay. I think, I think my one is okay. Okay, I think it's quite straightforward. Okay, I hope. Uh, this is actually a standard uh, question in calculus. Huh? Okay. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm not sure about you guys. Maybe you guys. Uh, cannot believe uh, the, the, the solution for this is so easy like this. Okay, for you guys, maybe you thought, wow, this is a very difficult question to know how to solve it. Uh, but actually, you can just solve it easily like this, okay? <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, right, so I think that's it for our tutorial zero. Okay. Then we... Oh, we carry on to our this okay okay wow right so i have another 25 minutes yeah so uh let's come back to this again huh? Uh, doctor, do we need yeah. to prove uh, AK increase or decrease first? Or we just uh, uh, can write uh, 0 to 2? Uh, first of all, uh, AK, uh, the sequence not necessarily increase or decrease okay? in, in, in the first place. So we don't know whether AK is increases or decreases. Is increasing or decreasing? Okay, we don't know. Okay, uh, however, you can verify it. So, um, don't worry. Um, I, I'm not requiring you guys to do it regularly. Have to wear, follow a very formal mathematical way to do it. Okay, um, I accept. You can just demonstrate. You can just observe for the first few terms, and then you make a conclusion. Okay, something like this. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. You get it? Uh, uh, something like this, like what we have done just now. Okay. Like here, what we have done just here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, uh, what I'm saying, uh, you can do something like this. Okay. Uh, yeah, although, I mean, if you really want to do it, very strict mathematical approach so this is not uh, acceptable you have to do it using the induction and so and so okay but however in here uh i do i i i accept this you can just follow like this uh maybe you can see uh, maybe this is enough ready you can just observe the first few terms and then you claim the general pattern here okay i i i'm okay with this but make sure you you are able to guess the right pattern okay uh, don't give me the wrong pattern so my advice is you better uh test for several terms maybe six seven or maybe eight of them uh, then you can guess the pattern uh, from here then you can see then you can see whether it's increasing or decreasing or not increasing not decreasing and blah 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 and make the thing right hmm. okay Um, actually, I've forgotten what to discuss here. What I want to discuss here. Ah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, let's just briefly look at this once again. Huh? So, 
So uh, in chapter one, so we discussed this thing, so-called uh, probability space, huh? so which is something related to random experiment. So uh, let's have a very brief revision on what we have discussed in the first uh, our previous lectures, right? Okay, uh, first of all, um, uh, I don't want to, because of, uh, I don't want to start with the very general case, so that my turn, uh, you might not be able to accept it. So that's why I begin with the easy one and then come to the, the more general one, so that you have an idea what you try to do. Uh. Okay, so how to do it? So uh, I split into three different cases, okay? We categorize our our type into three types based on the behavior of our span sample space. Okay, first, uh, discrete or non-discrete. So this is uncountable. Okay, so first we split into a uh, discrete and non-discrete or uncountable. For the discrete one, we have two subcases, uh, finite and infinite. Okay, so that's why here we split into three different cases: A, B, C, uh, finite sample space discrete but infinite sample space, uh, non-discrete or uncountable, we call it non-discrete or we call it uncountable case, okay? Three different ones. All right, so uh, for the first case, so we have already discussed the schemes over here. For the first case, supposing uh, we have only n outcome, omega one up to omega n. So first step, to choose our sigma field will be this. Uh, later on, we're going to come back to this again. Uh, we just simply take our sigma field to be all the subset. Okay, so that means any subset will be an event. So in this case, any subset is an event. Okay, so once we have decided uh what kind of subset is an event uh, in fact all of them then we construct property so we construct this one first uh p omega one p omega two and p omega one. we assign value for each of the outcome here which must fulfill these properties okay all the p omega will be in between zero to one i think makes sense and summing of them will be one huh? And in general, when A is a subset, so we just take P A to be summation of all the P omega here. So do I need to give example this? Okay, uh, maybe a very simple example will be, let's say our omega is uh, A, B, C. So let's say we take P of A is 0 0.5, uh, P of B is 0 0.5, for uh, P of C is 0 0.1. Okay, maybe one more. A, B, C, and D. Huh? So if this is D, so maybe this is uh, 0 0.3. So P of D is also 0 0.1. Mm. So makes sense. All these are in between 0 to 1, and you summing 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and up to be 1. So it fulfilled this property. So if we take A to be this, A, B, and C, okay? So then P of A will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1, okay? Uh, so this is how we, we, we can define the probability for it, okay? So for the second case, uh, this is not A, this is B. Okay, for the second case, when we have a discrete but infinite sample space. So we do the same thing. We just simply take uh, F to be the power set of omega. And we follow the same pattern. Uh, Okay, we take uh, F to be a power set. So again, so we have uh, this picture uh, feature. Any subset of omega is an 
event. Okay. Next, uh, we just construct a sequence of number which corresponding to omega one, omega two, and so on. Again, for uh, fulfill these properties, uh, p of omega k must be in between zero to one, and after that, if we summing all of this uh, p omega k returns value one. So you have to fulfill this. So you can see it's exactly the same as uh, the case here. The only difference will be here. So this is n because of uh, we have a n sample space. Uh, no, n outcome. Here we have uh, up to infinite many of outcomes, so which is infinity here. So and then the same idea. So for a, we just uh, define the probability of an event. We just summing up all these properties over here. Okay, so this is the, uh, the probability. Okay. okay, next question will be here. Why we have to come up with uh, this definition 1.1.1 and definition 1.1.2. .1 .1, uh, yeah. So just briefly uh, discuss this here. The rationale behind uh, these two definitions. Okay. Okay. So have to start from the beginning. Okay. Start from the beginning. So we topics we are probability theory, right? So what we want to study? We want to study the mathematical model. Uh, okay. Maybe we put it easy. Probability theory. So the main object we study. random phenomenon or random experiment okay we study random experiment and again what is mean by a random experiment so it has this feature that is we have an experiment in each trial so the um, outcome not mine not the same okay uncertain we don't know which outcome will appear okay uh, however based on the design of the experiment we can always foresee uh, what kind of outcome might happen uh, we can find out all the possible outcome okay uh, so in that case then we have a sample state okay roughly speaking then we can see the event is a set of outcome. Okay, so this is not so accurate. So just a rough idea. Yeah, just a rough idea. So event is a set of outcome. Okay, so because of these properties, outcome is uncertain. So we don't know which outcome will happen in each trial. We only know all the possible outcomes here. So that's why this is something that we want to know. We are interested on uh, the chances of certain or maybe okay, we are interested on the chances of an event, let's say E, to be happened. Okay. So I think it's very natural because outcome for each round uncertain. We don't know when what what outcome will uh, happen. So in that case, then we can see the chances of the the, the event that can be happens, right? So let's say we have an event E, then we want to see. What is the chances for this event to happen? Okay, so that means that is we want to know what is the value for this thing. The chances for this event to happen. So this is uh, very important because if we know the chances for an event to happen, so we can use it to do a lot of things. For example, we can forecast what will happen in future. Okay, uh, that is one of the reason or rational we want to do this. Okay, then we are talking about 
the chances. Okay. So then the chances then we have to see uh, what are the behavior for chances. So first of all, then we must have this right. Uh, a chances cannot be negative, right? Okay. So it must be zero to one hundred percent, right? Uh, it's either zero percent or hundred percent. So uh, when we know, uh, we can always say zero to hundred percent to be one. That's, that's why we can uh, normalize the thing, or we can just simply say PE must be in between uh, zero to one. Okay, so that's why uh, the chance for an event must have this natural behavior, right? And B, if we include all the outcome, all the possible outcome, then the chances must be one. So because this one you have already covered all the cases, then it must be one. Okay, uh, this, this is it. And C, so let's say there is no overlapping. For event one and event two. Okay, if there's no overlapping for event one and event two, then the chances for the combination of them must be the sum of them. To be happen okay so i don't think i need to give you an example so you guys have learned this in your undergraduate but that's the ideas way right okay so we have a one two three so you can see this thing we call it the probability so the probability must have this three feature we call it or properties or feature of that so that's why we're going to use these three properties to become the criterion for us to assess whether something will be a probability or not. Okay. So that's the reason how we come up with this definition 1.1.2. Okay. Which is actually based on our observations uh, here. Okay. However, uh, that will be a little bit more general to it. Huh? Okay, so this is case one by one. Uh, okay, based on here. So uh, now supposing this is a measurable space. Uh, measurable space is, means uh, we have a sample space and sigma field. Okay, uh, forget about this one first. Okay, let's have a sigma field. Then uh, mapping P is called probability measure. So if it fulfills this condition first, P of omega must be equal to one. So this is actually like uh, what I have discussed here, okay? And next, for any event A, the probability must be greater than zero. So then that will be uh, our, uh, our features over here, okay? And next, uh, this is the keywords will be this destroyed, huh? Must be destroyed. If A K are events and they are destroyed, so destroyed means there are no overlapping. Okay, what's the meaning of no overlapping? So that means uh, no intersections, huh? So in the language of set theory, that means there are no intersections. Eh? So uh, if they are destroyed, then P of the union of all this must be the summation of all this. So that is uh, the, the picture one. However, uh, this is just a finite case. So we want to set it to be up to infinity. So that's why we are using our observations or something we think is natural then we come up with uh, these definitions of probability space that's uh, not a uh, probability measure so that's why this 
one, two, three will become the criteria for us to judge whether something is a probability or not. Okay. One, two, three. So then this is how we come up with the definition of probability measure. Why we are using these three as a probability measure. So that is actually based on uh, something we think that is uh, very natural over here. Okay. Okay. Next thing will be here. We are come back to it. So in this random experiment, like I say, we are interested on probability or something to be happens, right? The chances for something to be happens, okay? So that's why those things that we can assign probability will be an event. So that's why now we can set another criteria for our uh, restriction for our event. So we can say that an event, so is a set of outcome that we could talk about. We can take, we can, okay, we can talk about its probability. Okay. So it must have uh, two criteria. First of all, it must be a set of outcome. Okay. It must be a set of outcome. Secondly, we will ensure that we can talk about its probability. Hmm. Must have these two uh, features here. So ideally, so in the perfect case, uh, so uh, ideally, we want every subset of omega to be even. Okay. That will be easier, and we hope that uh, we can actually consider all the possible cases, like, like here. Okay, our first choice will be always the power set. I mean, we just consider all the subsets same as the, yeah, same as the uh, um, final case. So we just simply take this to be uh, the power set. We want, we hope, we can, uh, we can assign a probability to all the subset to. Of, of the sample space. So this is what we want. Okay. Unfortunately, we have an issue here. Unfortunately, when omega is R. Okay. So R is a uh, non descript set, right? So this is an uncountable set, right? Then we, it is proven we have this problem. It's impossible to design a probability uh, which could assign each subset. A value. Okay, so that's why we have a problem here. So that is, uh, we want something to be a probability. So that means we have to talk about uh, it, it have to be fulfilled these three 
uh, criterion here. So if we set something, we fulfill these three criterion, then we are impossible to assign to all the subset. Okay, when omega is r. Okay, so uh, this thing has been proven. So this is a very is a, we have to use a very uh, an advanced uh, techniques in real analysis. So don't worry. And this thing is beyond the scope. So I just let you know that's the reason. So beyond the scope of our discussions. Okay, so this one, if you want to know, then you may refer to the book. Read the books. Uh, So oh, I think most of the uh, books and title, I just recommend this to you. So it's a Royden book, so-called uh, Real Analysis. So this is one of it. Uh, in fact, I think most of the so-called advanced Real Analysis books should have a discussion of this. So this is a very well-known result. Okay? So when Omega is R, so it is impossible to design a property which could assign to each subset of R omega, okay? So that's why in general case, so that's why in this, this one just simply means that when omega is R, we are not allowed to set F to be P omega. So we are not allowed to take this to be a P omega. So that's why then we have to set a new criteria for something to become an event. Okay. So that's the reason why we have to come up with this definition 1.1.1. 1 .1 okay. So that's why. We have these definitions here. Uh, so that's the reason why we want to come up with uh, uh, this very odd criterion. Why have we fulfilled this and do this? The reason is uh, we can't solve, we, we, can't, we can't do it in the in the easy manner when omega is R. So that's the reason why we want to use definition 1.1 1 .1 point definition 1.1 point two over here. Okay. Uh, Great, just on time. So 7.30 now. Yeah, I think uh, as usual, let's take a break of half an hour. Okay, then we carry on our second section on 8 o'clock. Okay, see you guys.